Oh, I did not see you there. Hello, it is I, Torch Sheep. Um, yeah, we're going to Comic Con today, you should probably read the title. It's gonna be a good day. Um, probably would have preferred if I didn't have this, this cut on my chin from shaving my, my neck beard, but you know, what can you do? Anyway, we're gonna go try and meet Hinden Walsh, try and get a safe link for a video. We're gonna go explore the con, there'll be a fun little video to do. Let's go right into that, guys. Let's go. Here we have the centre, the Excel Centre in London. Uh, we got a few people, not many people have turned up yet. I'm sure it'll get a lot busier later. Or maybe it won't, maybe it'll be the slowest year of all time, but you know, I have to wait and see, you know. <laughs> oh, but yeah, uh, not going to see anyone this year. This is the first time I haven't cosplayed because I didn't want to look like a, even more of a dork. Before we could make it into the actual convention, there was a huge queue to get through. Security was ramped up super high this time for obvious reasons relating to recent events. Which I totally understand, though it did take a good hour of queuing, it was worth it to prevent any potential threats. If there's any footage of the almighty lion out there on YouTube, I'm the guy looking like a pleb with his arms crossed for a good hour. And then we finally made it in! Time to explore the con! No wait! First we've got to get the ticket to see Hinden Walsh, the voice of Princess Bubblegum and Starfire from Teen Titans. Another hour of queuing followed. By the time I got to the front of the queue, I was told that I didn't need a ticket for Hinden. You just give the money directly to the people at her table. Yay! Then the moment finally arrived. Could I get the almighty voice of Starfire to say, This is Starfire, and you're watching Torch Sheep? Nope. I did get to meet her, and she was incredibly sweet and nice, and her normal speaking voice was just like Princess Bubblegum, which was pretty surreal to me for some reason. In fact, I had the same feeling when I met Jeremy Shader, the voice of Finn, last year. How's that cartoon character's voice coming out of a human man? I got her to autograph my Princess Bubblegum Funko Pop, as I told her how much I admired her work. Again, she was really kind and sweet. I then asked her, I totally understand if you're not allowed to, but could I possibly film you saying something? She said, oh no, sorry, I'm too shy. Yeah, I got hardcore rejected by Senpai. <sighs> Even so, I'm beyond happy to have met her and seen just how lovely she is in person. After all that, I finally had a good old wander around the convention to see everything that was going on. There were mostly stalls filled with stuff you'd expect. Funko Pops, other figures, anime this, anime that, swords, body pillows, and those pastel kawaii llama thingies I see every time I go. They also had this thing! Yeah, just bought my first few things. I'll show this in a little bit. But we got... Paradot. Oh, okay. Let's see what other unique ones we got. Alright. We, we got Lapis. And... We also got... We also got the dead mom. She's my favorite dead mom. Now, usually me and whoever I'm there with go around seeking pictures with cosplayers we found really cool. I have plenty of folders filled with selfies with various characters. This year though, eh, I wasn't really feeling too social. Plenty of amazing costumes as always though. Me and my sister have this game we play every time we go to London Comic Con together. That game being to try and figure out who the most cosplayed character is. Last October, Suicide Squad Harley Quinn won by a landslide. The time before that it was Deadpool, and I think Kirito the Harem King himself from Sword Art Online was one of the years before. This time, however, you could have fooled me into thinking this was BlizzCon I was at. There were so many Overwatch cosplayers. Tracers, Junkrats, McCrees, Mercies, everywhere. The single winner had to be D.Va though. They all did an awesome job. I didn't grab any footage of them, but there was this one guy who did a spot-on Junkrat cosplay with loads of ash all over him. If whoever you are is watching this, good job dude. The center had a long stretch of places to eat and rest down the middle, and a gigantic hall on each side packed with festivities and stalls. While browsing around for stuff to buy, I came across this. Truly magnificent. What is going on, people? It is Aerosol Reviews here, the Game Finance Package. One area was designated for all things gaming. Plenty of Japanese games I've never heard of in my life were there mainly. Nintendo were there this time too, however, which is awesome. I don't think I've seen them there since the first time I went in October 2014. That was when Amiibo were all the craze and Wario from the Smash Bros series was super rare, for, for some reason. Splatoon 2 for the Switch appeared to be the biggest focus for them, a game I'm really looking forward to, the amount of hours I spent on the first game considered. Second purchase of the day, what did we get? Oh, I already got, already got all those waifus, I need to get something good now. What did I get this time? <laughs> Oh baby, it's Android 18, ah, with her sassy pose. This will be my most treasured possession of all time. You want to know the best thing about Nintendo being at the con was? <laughs> 
there was this guy in an official Mario costume wandering around the Nintendo area, being a big goofball, stealing people's hats, and I even got him to do this. Perfect. Highlight of the convention, everyone. I don't know if this was a sponsorship or what, but almost everyone working there was wearing a Despicable Me 3 shirt, and they had a bunch of advertisements for it all over the center. Yeah, we got Despicable Me 3. Ah, uh, you know, looking pretty good. We got this giant inflatable minion, which I'll scroll around and get a better look at. Let's have a look. Jeez Louise. Not sure why, but they also had Mater from, from Cars there. Just alone. Nothing saying Cars 3 coming soon or anything. Just Mater. As I left the convention at 4pm, I was satisfied with all the stuff I bought, meeting Hinden Walsh, getting Mario to dab, seeing a giant inflatable minion. It surely won't be a visit I'll soon forget. And what better way to end off this video with a sheep haul! And finally, just got back, and let's review what we bought. I can't, I can't get rid of that thing over there, of course. Piece de resistance is Android 18. It's just the best figure in the world. Comes with a nice little stand. You know, she's got that hair thing going on. Like, she comes with like a body and a head when you buy her. You gotta like put the head on, and then you gotta put this necklace over it as well. But the necklace just won't stay still. But that's fine. That's fine. Let's see what else we got. I think this one's just got one part. Uh. We got Connie from Steven Universe, looking pretty fine and dandy in a little Gohan-esque gear. Uh, we got we got Rose Quartz, Steven Universe, pretty heavy one, also very cool. Uh, I pretty much got all of the new Steven Universe ones, apart from Lion, I believe. Uh, we got Lapis, he looks kind of funny, he's got no nose. Uh, the Water Wings are really awesome though, glad I bought the pop just for that. Uh, Showing that in a second. Well, we got Peridot, <sighs> lovely old Peridot with a little visor with a little goofy face. Uh, nothing left in there. And last thing with the pops, I got, uh, I got my Princess Bubblegum, my pop signed, as I said, with Hinden. You know, she said she was too shy, but to would go on the camera, but you know, this is cool. So we've got a little thing there, PB Heart, it's me. Yeah. Lovely stuff. This one's just got my Android 18 case thing. And finally, uh, we got two shirts. I got a Crash Bandicoot Wumpa Island shirt, and I got a I got a Mercy shirt. That says Heroes Never Die, and that's all the stuff I got. You know, looking pretty fine and dandy right there. And thank you very much for watching. It's been my trip to Comic Con. Uh, I hope it wasn't boring. I'm sorry if it was. Uh...